I was just going down the my wall on Facebook and you know I've seen lots of pictures of dogs so I follow a lot of them and this you know this dog pulled up and I've always wanted a purebred red Siberian Husky. You guys want a treat? Yeah. I called a person I didn't know where they were I had no idea where this dog was and they're like yeah we're in California I'm like okay. <laughs> I think they got him from like the, uh, the US version of the SPCA um, and he had demodectic mange. He had lost about 90% of his fur, severely emaciated and he had infections in all four feet from standing in his own poop and pee. He was very rambunctious, he was very aloof, just you know wanted to check everything else out. He'd come and say hi quickly but then he'd go check out the next thing right away. It was a long journey to here to getting him where he's at today but he was excitable. <laughs> He would scarf down his food, he would drink a whole bowl of water, he was jumping, he would mouth you, he was, you know, really loud and obnoxious. And, you know, he's gone from that to sometimes he doesn't eat his food if he's not hungry. Right now I'm really trying to put together a curriculum to work with youth at risk and dogs. Um, teaching them life's lessons through training dogs, using rescue dogs, so they kind of work together. Um, and hopefully if they help the kids out enough, the parents will adopt the dog for the kid. I love kids, I love dogs, you know, why not, you know, do both? It definitely feels good knowing that he's got a home where he's loved and he doesn't feel like he has to fight for food or fight for attention and he's got a sister now so, you know, they can play and so it's definitely, it's, makes me feel good.